think I broke it. Well, that's not good. Did I, I just I just got this and I already broke it? Wait a minute. This this goes on like that. Oh, okay. All right. It slides on, so I didn't break it. Okay, cool. So guys, I wanted to talk to you guys about this. It is the world's smallest blower, and it kind of looks like a little leaf blower. And I have a story to tell you all about this. So I was at the pilot, which is the gas station. I was at the gas station, and I just got done from Walmart. I was at Walmart looking at cans of compressed air, and they were selling them for about $4 a can, which is... I think it's about two dollars too much for a can but sitting next to the thing was this and I said wow that's kinda cool they wanted um, 12 bucks for it which I thought was a little much but I have thought I would bring it home and do a video about it and see if it actually works it says that it has strong air power an extra long cable no batteries are included plugs into USB computers or charging adapters and it's ergonomically designed and it says right there small stuff big fun and what's that say extra long cable so yeah I thought I would open it and see what it is so yeah let's do that let's open it and see how well it works because we already know what it is we just gotta see if it works so give me one second and we'll be right back where we started so I removed it from the package and this is what it looks like it does kinda <laughs> it does look like a little leaf blower that's kinda funny although it's I was sitting here thinking I was like you know if you're left handed this would be kind of an awkward way of holding it so if I went right handed with it see now it makes more sense but I am not sure I would like to see how well this works so we have a 5 volt adapter. So let's let's do that real fast. Let's plug it in like so. And do the zip tie. All right, so let's let's take it and plug it in. So I'm assuming it will go that way. All right. Let's see if Oh, huh. that's pretty cool. Let's see how well it does. Look at the stuff on my desk. Let me see here. Yeah, it does move pretty good. You can hear the... See it vibrating? Let's see how well this thing actually blows. See, I got a piece of paper here. Hold on. Let's see how well it works. It's barely moving the paper. Oh, there it goes. Paper. Lower. Paper. Lower. So, yeah. Wow, it's actually kind of powerful. I'm actually kind of impressed with it. Let's see here. Let's see, there's a little dust right there. A little dust on that. Well, it's kind of how I thought it would be. It was not, not. It's a little bit, but not too much. Like it just blows the light dust off of it, which makes me wonder. Since it's five volts, I wonder. Hold on, let me turn it off. I'm wondering if I can use a stepper, a volt stepper and increase the volts to it because if you increase the volts to it it's going to well it's going to blow more air more faster and I am almost considering to do that because 5 volts just isn't enough juice I mean yes you can feel it blowing but like if you got some real good dust there I mean you need you need some pressure behind it so I do not think that this was worth the 12 bucks and I don't think it does a great job. I mean, it might lightly blow stuff off, but it's not very practical. Not at all. I wouldn't consider this a practical use. 
So, you know, for 12 bucks, what do you expect? I guess if I wanted to, though, I could try to increase it. Maybe I'll make a video about increasing this little sucker and seeing if it will, uh, seeing if it'll do better or if we'll just burn it out. I don't really know what to do. Although it's a nice little fan. See, if you're just kind of sitting there chilling, you can have it blow on you, which is kind of nice. Although that would be a little annoying, you know. I mean, it does feel kind of nice, though. And it's not too loud. You know, not too loud at all. Now, they had a little 5-volt vacuum thing that I was looking at, but I thought that the blower would be would be more practical for me. But, yeah, that's it. The world's smallest blower. I would have to say so. And with the world's smallest blower blower you get small performance with it so I mean like it was I mean it's I got a bunch of little like metal and little pieces of stuff on it and you can see that it I mean it blows it around you know but that's let's see if it'll let's see if it has the power to blow this little circuit board over so there's the circuit board let's see if it has the strength oh yeah it has the strength all right well, let's Let's see if it'll blow this over. This is a little heavier. Hold on, let me move the board out of the way so we don't drop that on there. All right, let's see if it'll blow it over. Nope, doesn't have the strength to even blow that over. I mean, this. See how easy that was? So, it'll give you an idea of how powerful it is. You know. So anyway, that's that's my video on the world's smallest blower for 12 bucks at the local gas station. I just thought I would do a little video about it, guys, and show y'all what it is. Uh, out of, let's see here, if I was to rate this out of 10, I'd maybe give it a 5 or a 6. Maybe on a good day, if I won the lottery, I'd give it a 7. But, but for right now, we're going to give it a 5. We'll stick with 5. 5's okay. So there you have it, guys. World's smallest blower. What do y'all think? Cool? not cool give me a thumbs up if you like the video make sure to subscribe if you haven't already this is tech pcs i'm don and we'll catch you guys on the next video peace have a good day